Behind me is my current editing setup that I've been using for the past couple of months now. And it was important for me because I want to create a space that will allow me to work without distractions getting in the way of me creating. So before we actually talk about this setup, let's take a look at my previous setup. Before, I was using the small corner of my room as my editing space. And although it worked for me when I would occasionally edit from this spot, it had its drawbacks like anything. It was small, it wasn't the most stable, and now that I'm required to work from home, it meant that I was gonna be spending a lot more time here. So I wanted to make a few upgrades. It was important that this new workstation would be larger, more stable, and allow me to work throughout the day. So I reached out to Autonomous and asked them if I could review their products. And not only were they kind enough to send me a DIY smart stand desk, but also this ergo chair too, for me to review. So big thanks to them. They also provided a 10% off discount code, which will be in the link in the description down below for you guys to check that out. So assembling the sit stand desk was a breeze. It was fairly simple and straightforward to do. Anyone can really do it. Although the instructions that they provided weren't as detailed as I hoped, I had to do a bit of guesswork, but otherwise it was fairly simple. And once it was completed, I wanted to add my own custom top and actually save this pine wood that was going to be thrown out. And with my brother's help, we sanded, planed, joined, stained, and made this large desktop. I measured it to fit specifically for this entire wood wall. Again, I wanted a really large desk and now I have an eight foot long desk, which it's just a bit overkill, but it is so nice to have a large tabletop to work from. It keeps everything clean and simple and it's fabulous. I like it. And yes, the sit stand desk can actually support a tabletop this large. So now that I got the desk assembled, I can take all my computer modern speakers and set them up over here. Speaking of which, let's talk about that monitor. This is a 32 inch Acer monitor. And despite it being a 1440p display, man, is this thing rich and sharp? and that's due to it being an IPS 10-bit display. I love that the 32-inch form factor allows me to stretch out my timeline in Premiere, and I have plenty of room and access to all my different panels inside Premiere. And on either side of the monitors are my PreSonus Ares 3.5 speakers, and this actually has the Bluetooth connectivity. So when I'm just casually listening to music, I can just pull out my phone, connects via Bluetooth, and you got some chill music. And I really love the feature. It would cost about $30 extra to have that Bluetooth, but it was totally worth it just to chill out to some music or focus and start creating. So these speakers, I really enjoy the audio quality coming from them. They sound really great. They sound very rich and full. And I really do prefer using speakers rather than headphones for most editing workflow. So that's it for the speakers. Over here, I have some peripherals that just make my life a bit easier. Over here, I have my phone charger, which I can just nicely put my phone on the charge and it's propped up. So if I get a text message, it'll show up there, which is quite handy. I also have some AirPods and some little knickknacks as far as SD cards, SD card readers, just kind of along the bottom of the monitor. And as far as my little desk mat right here, I have it to protect the wood just for my like normal stuff. I don't really care if it gets scratched too bad, but for my main setup, I thought I'd protect it. And this is just a regular old desk mat. It's about 32 inches across and just about a foot in depth. But I set this down, put on my Apple Magic Keyboard and my Master MX mouse, as well as this mouse has a lot of functionality, which you can use for editing to speed up your workflow. So that's everything on top of the desk setup. I like to keep it very simple, very clean. It allows me to stay focused and keep my attention on my work. But let me show you how to kind of hide all these different cables and how it's all wired underneath the desk. So let's take a look at that. All right, so this is probably the messiest part of the entire desk setup, and that is all these wires. So this, we had to do some sort of cable management to keep it clean, keep the wires up out of the way so they don't become a distraction or even dangling by your feet the whole time. So what comes with the included desk sit-stand desk are these little adhesive strips which these just kind of stick onto the bottom of the table, or let's see right here. You can stick them on and then you can tighten these down. The problem with these though is that after about a day or so, they just completely fell. 
so rendering these pretty useless, so I don't recommend using these at all. Instead, I went with an IKEA cable organizer bar, and that holds all my wires, even the control box wire for the desk, keeps it all routed up in here. So we won't see a majority of this. Um, and then I even have went one step further and put a um, little power bar right here. So there's 18 outlets on this included one, and it's mounted fixed securely to the desk itself. And uh, plenty of outlets, even on the back side, which is really nice. And three little USBs. So I have my phone cable plugged up there as well. So we only have one power cable going from the desk to the outlet, which is extremely nice. Keeps the majority of the cores out of the way. Now, of course, I still have some of these wires, the HDMI from the monitor to the computer. I have the speaker wire and then the computer wire to this outlet. So it's not perfectly hidden. Um, still need to improve on that. But as far as getting the majority of the cords out of my way, away from dangling on the floor, it works for me. Of course, the main selling feature of this desk is that it's a sit-stand desk and it's motorized. So you can just press your button and it will go down to your program position. You can program it to different heights. I have one for a standing and one for sitting down. And that's how long it takes just to go in between them. Having the flexibility to stand at your desk is very nice, but when it's time for me to get some real work done, I like to pull up a chair, sit down, and start focusing on the editing at hand. And most importantly and often overlooked is the chair you actually sit in at your desk. And one thing I like about this Ergo Chair 2 is I feel like it supports my body well, and it gets me through the day without discomfort. Now, assembly of this chair was actually fairly simple. I was able to do it by myself, it took me about 30 minutes. I actually had to get a little creative in order to install the backrest by propping up on a bench. But other than that, process was smooth and I was able to assemble it myself. After assembly and a couple of months of use, my only complaint is that the seat cushion itself isn't the most comfortable. Usually around if I've been sitting for an hour or so, I'll find myself trying to readjust. But then I usually get up at that time to walk around, stretch a little bit, and then get back down to editing, which is a good thing to get in the habit of anyway. Now, I'm sure many of you are curious about which computer system I'm running, so let's talk about that. I'm running my custom Hackintosh I built just over a year ago, and it's running just as great as ever. Really fast, great for editing, rendering projects, and having it be in a Hackintosh has not limited my ability to use the computer pretty much whatsoever. It's pretty much just like a Mac, which is awesome, but you save a bunch of money doing so. So if you wanna learn more about the assembly of my Hackintosh, I actually did a fully dedicated video for that. You can check that out. And all that being said, a year later, it feels like a Mac. It operates smoothly. I can work and not have to worry about, you know, crazy render times. It's fantastic. So that has been the rundown of my desk setup. Again, I wanna give special thanks to Autonomous. Thank you guys for sending out the chair and desk for review. Be sure to check out their website and use that coupon code to get 10% off your order. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments of my desk setup. So other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.